Hi Dixons, I'm Luke Sparks, Executive Director at Dixons. Today I'm delighted to be back in my home city of Liverpool at Fazakali High, which very soon will be the first Northwest School to join our trust. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't done so already, do subscribe to our channel, use the like button and comment below to tell us which episodes have been most useful for you or what you would like to see on the channel next. Our commitment to organisational health has been long-standing. However, we have found the language and thinking of Patrick Lencioni, founder of the Table Group, a source of inspiration that has offered us a helpful way to explain this to others. The Table Group's tools and resources have also helped to transform the way we run our meetings, especially at the executive and increasingly senior leadership level. In this video, we will share our guiding principles to running great meetings at Dixon's, inspired by the Table Group. According to Lencioni, no action, activity or process is more central to a healthy organisation than the meeting. This is where values are established, discussed and lived and where decisions around strategy and tactics are vetted, made and reviewed. Bad meetings are the birthplace of an unhealthy organisation and good meetings are the origin of cohesion, clarity and communication. Indeed, the best way to evaluate the health of an organisation is to observe the leadership team during a meeting. So why do most people hate meetings? Well, because they are usually awful, tedious, unproductive and a waste of time. Your team should look forward to meetings. Here are some quotes from Lencioni on meetings that resonate with us at Dixon's. Meetings are the setting, the arena, the moment when the most important discussions and decisions take place. What could be more important? The mark of a great meeting is not how short it is or whether it ends on time. The key is whether it ends with clarity and commitment from participants. If leaders say they don't like meetings, then they don't like leading. Meetings are the central activity of leadership. As trust and school leaders, we go to meetings, have conversations and pour through issues. We should see our meetings as an actress sees a play, a surgeon sees an operation, or a teacher sees a class. Meetings should be our favourite part of being a trust or school leader. Accepting bad meetings at the executive level sets the precedent for the rest of our trust. What is tolerated at the top of an organisation is often the ceiling of what can be expected deeper within. Bad meetings are not inevitable. There is nothing inherently boring or unproductive about meetings. They are the activity at the centre of every organisation and should therefore be both interesting and relevant. According to Lencioni, the single biggest problem with meetings is meeting stew. That's what happens when we try to cram everything from strategy to tactics to admin into one meeting. There are different reasons to have a meeting and if you try to do too much, you won't do anything well. Meeting stew is the best way to stifle the life out of a meeting. We can go from dreading meetings to relishing them simply by avoiding meeting stew and inciting productive conflict. Meetings are what leaders do and the solution to bad meetings is not the elimination of them but rather the transformation of them into meaningful, engaging and relevant activities. Good meetings have debate and conflict. People are able to be passionate without consequence. The leader prioritises what will be talked about. Leaders of meetings need to put the right issues, often the most controversial ones, on the table at the beginning of their meetings. And by demanding that the team wrestle with those issues until resolution has been achieved, they can create genuine, compelling drama and prevent their audiences from checking out. If we don't nurture that conflict or drama in the first 10 minutes of the meeting, the team will lose interest and disengage. What we need to do is create greater context by having separate meetings for different topics. Therefore at Dixon's we have four types of meetings. The cycle off-site review, weekly topical strategic, weekly tactical and the daily check-in. The daily check-in is a schedule orientated administrative meeting that should last no more than five or ten minutes. The purpose is simply to keep team members aligned and to provide a daily forum for activity updates and scheduling. 
The tactical meeting should be approximately an hour in length, give or take 20 minutes, and should focus on the discussion and resolution of issues which affect near-term objectives. Ironically, these work best if there is no preset agenda. Instead, the team should quickly review one another's priorities and the team's overall scorecard and then decide on what to discuss during the remainder of the meeting. This will help them avoid wasting time on trivial issues and focus only on those issues that are truly relevant and critical. See the video on our tactical meeting to learn more about how this meeting works in practice. The key to making these tactical meetings work is having the discipline to identify and postpone the discussion of more strategic topics which brings us to the third kind of meeting. The topical meeting is the most interesting kind of meeting for leaders and the most important indicator of an organisation's strategic aptitude. It is the appropriate place for big topics, those that will have a long-term impact. These issues require more time and a different setting, one in which participants can brainstorm, debate, present ideas and wrestle with one another in pursuit of the optimal long-term solutions. Each meeting should include no more than one or two topics and should allow roughly two hours for each topic. The cycle off-site review is an opportunity for team members to step away from the organisation, literally and figuratively, to reassess a variety of issues. The interpersonal performance of the team, strategic big moves, the performance of employees' morale, sector trends. These meetings can last anywhere from the better part of a day to two full days each cycle. So, by having these four distinct meetings on a regular basis, we can create the right context for our meetings and make it clear to team members why the meeting is taking place and what is expected of them. We can avoid the single biggest problem with meetings, meeting stew. Meetings are what leaders do, and the solution to bad meetings is not the elimination of them, but rather the transformation of them into meaningful, engaging and relevant activities. Thank you so much for your time. As ever, let us know if we can add any more detail or answer any questions and please subscribe to the channel and share. I look forward to seeing you soon.